who's been showing celebrities some love in sort of an odd way, and it's hilarious. Alex Leeds is the man behind dumb celebrity drawings. Alex creates a work of art that has a vague connection, but usually a, a misconnection to a celebrity, sends it to them looking for an autograph. He is also one of many comedians in the running for the Go Bananas Funniest Person in Cincinnati contest. Alex, I'm glad you are back because I love the graphic they created for this oh, long ago. It's fantastic. <laughs> and you have some new ones that if we were going to update this, we definitely could. Let's, yes. let's first of all talk about what you're looking for when you send these, these drawings to a celebrity. I'm I'm just looking for uh, you know just an autograph. I don't know. I like I like that uh, you know the celebrities are like you know they're kind of humanized. I feel like by yeah. getting the joke and actually just signing it and sending it back to me. And and that's the key for those who didn't get a chance to see Alex last time he was in. They're intentionally, for lack of a better way to put it, wrong. Like it, it's it's not the thing you should be sending to the person. You're, you're sending to and let's go ahead and start with one of them so people get sort of a feel for what we're talking about yeah. um, let's let's see the first new one that we have since last time Alex Alex visited I think it's uh, maybe Paris Hilton we have is that right guys I think they're hopefully working on getting that yeah. Paris there it is there, yeah so so ex ex explain what is going on first of all she well, sent you an actual picture she back, did, which is yes. great. Uh, so Paris Hilton, she's partially famous for her catchphrase, that's hot. Yes. So I drew a hot stovetop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she also sent back the... <laughs> she sent the picture back, too, because I was like, uh, I think she might not have gotten what it was about. So she sent a picture <laughs> along with it. Do you ever get, in addition to the autographs, anybody ever write you a little note? Yes, uh, John Landis, the director of National Lampoon's Animal House. Yes. Uh, I sent a drawing of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So intentionally wrong. Like, you know it's wrong before you send it. Yes, and on the back of the envelope, he wrote, I did not direct this movie. <laughs> And then he signed it. That's fantastic. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's better than anything yeah. else. Yeah, and right? a mailman had to have seen it. Like, what the? What is going yeah. on with this? All right, uh, your vanilla ice one is pretty mm -hmm. fantastic. Let's, yeah. let's take a look at the vanilla ice drawing. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is vanilla ice signed drawing of uh, Neapolitan ice, <laughs> <you know? laughs> which is my favorite kind of ice cream. You get the best of both worlds: strawberry, chocolate, <laughs> and then <laughs> vanilla for whoever. <laughs> And by the way, that's his it. autograph, in terms of autographs, that's yeah. pretty stylish. It's a pretty unique one, yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's mm -mm. not too bad. Okay, also, to show, you have a Jeb Bush one. You got one back from Jeb Bush. I did. This is uh, actually my all-time favorite drawing. Um, Jeb Bush, when he was running for president, he had that infamous moment where he's given this impassioned speech, and you know, his crowd of supporters aren't really reacting. So he stops, and he says, please clap. And everybody starts laughing. So I drew the hand clapping emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and he even he even wrote a little comment on there, funny, which, uh, <laughs> which like my my goal is to publish a book, and I think if I ever do, that would make a great blurb. That's the, that is pretty strong. Cover. That is pretty yeah. strong. Um, let's see. I think we got time, but we got at least one or two more. Okay. Let, let's do the one that I asked you about before we even started, because I didn't quite get this one. But okay. it has a special connection to you. It does. Yes. It's um, so this is uh, Jim Lovell, the commander of Apollo 13. <laughs> This is a drawing of my sister because that's her favorite astronaut. Uh, that's a picture of her in her space suit, in her flight suit. She used to work at uh, Space Camp in Turkey. So that was like a personal one that I, I did for her. She was, she was actually over in Turkey working there when they had a military coup. Oh, jeez. Which was a little, yeah. It was like a, she's I, okay. I she's take okay. It. Yeah, okay, she's good. okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's I had to tell my parents about it too. I kind of felt like I was tattling on her, like when we were kids. like. Kara's over in Turkey in a military coup, and she's not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, that, that makes for an interesting segue, because I asked you, do, do you even include this stuff in your stand-up? Because you're doing this Go Bananas event, you know, Cincinnati's Funniest, uh, funniest Man or whatever it is. Yeah. And do you incorporate this kind of stuff at all? Um, I've thought about it, but I, don't, I, I haven't really figured out how. Um, yeah. I think it would be kind of hard. I really just stick to, like, telling, like, different kind of funny stories, yeah. kind of some topical stuff. Yeah. Usually. Okay. Okay. Well, if you ever if you ever get enough of these together and you get them in the book, you make sure and come back and see us with that. But if people want to see you on stage doing your stand up instead, mm -hmm. where, where are you going to be? Uh, Wednesday night, uh, Go Bananas Comedy Club, funniest person in Cincinnati, uh, 8 p.m. You can make reservations at gobananascomedy.com. Uh, come out and see me. Awesome. Be, it's going to be a great show. Alex, you, you make me laugh a lot, man. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again. It's uh, 916. We'll be right back.